This is the definitive course on SaaS marketing. My name is Decker Fraser and I am a veteran Silicon Valley marketer. I was a vice president of marketing for a Google Accelerator startup. I was a global marketing manager for Sony PlayStation and I've worked with countless SaaS startups from very early stage to mid stage to late stage all the way up to series E. What I'm gonna do in this course is I'm gonna reveal all my SaaS marketing tricks. Now, something else you should know about me is that I have an MBA in marketing from the number one ranked business school for marketing in the United States, the Kellogg School of Management. This is where the father of marketing himself, Philip Kotler, teaches. So the bulk of this course is really about short-term results. It's gonna be about things like demand generation, customer acquisition, generating demo requests, getting people to sign up for a free trial, nurturing those people to sign up. However, I am gonna to touch on some of the longer term and midterm types of things. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about SaaS branding, SaaS brand building, so you can get those big economies of scale in your marketing over the long time horizons. So let's go into some of the details of what I've included in this course. So first of all, you get free access to my SaaS marketing playbook. You don't have to go buy it on Amazon. I'm also gonna reveal the most common mistakes that I see in SaaS companies. And I've worked in tons of SaaS companies. I've consulted for tons of SaaS companies. I see what these mistakes are. I don't want you to repeat those. I want you to save your money, save your time, do the things that are most effective. And some of those are gonna be the 15 ways to get demo requests. I'm gonna reveal that in a key video. I'm gonna tell you how to get leads instantly, including some growth hacks. I'm gonna teach you about the different time horizons in SaaS marketing. So we're talking about the short term, we're talking about the mid term, the late term, we're talking about when you're early stage, when you're mid stage, and when you're large, and how you need to think about marketing very differently based on what stage you're in. I'm gonna teach you about funnel optimization. So things like a drop off that happens between marketing and sales, a drop off when your marketing qualified leads become your sales qualified leads, and why those leads are not converting to customers. I'm gonna go into a lot of details with that. I'm gonna teach you about influencer marketing, which I'm a huge fan of. I think it's one of the most underutilized, cost-effective ways to acquire customers. Influencer marketing is one type of partnership marketing. So I'm also gonna talk about other types of partnership marketing. So things like forming relationships with other software businesses. I'm gonna to uh, touch a little bit on PR, which kind of bridges on that influencer space. I'm gonna talk about product-led growth. So for example, how to get as big a top of funnel as possible, so as many people are engaging and talking about your app as possible. I'm gonna talk about applied marketing psychology. So little tricks, little hacks that you can do in your marketing that can make big differences in terms of uh, customer acquisition and top of funnel performance. I'm gonna talk about something that people don't go into a lot of detail on when you see content out there on the internet, which is SaaS lead nurturing. So that middle of the funnel is often where the biggest opportunities are because so many people are focused on either the top of the funnel, so generating leads, or they're focused on the bottom of the funnel, which is sales. But really, uh, some of your most lucrative opportunities are gonna be right there in the middle when the nurturing's happening. So to get into more detail on that, what we need to understand is the SaaS buying customer journey. I'm gonna walk you through some models to understand that appropriately based on research. I'm gonna talk about sales enablement, how to get collaboration between the people that are doing marketing and the people that are doing sales. Maybe that's the same person in your case, and in either way, you're gonna get something valuable out of this. And then we're gonna go a little bit high level, and I'm gonna talk about things like positioning in your messaging. Should you go with an emotional message or a rational message, for example? What's more effective in generating word of mouth? I'm gonna reveal my SaaS positioning workbook so you can go through this yourself and apply it. I'm gonna talk about how to develop things like your homepage messaging to avoid some of the most common mistakes. I'm gonna to touch on social media ads. We're gonna talk about content marketing and copywriting, extremely effective copywriting frameworks. We're gonna talk about cold email outreach and how to automate all of that. We're gonna talk about outbound marketing. Let's get started, let's get SaaS marketing, let's get you some demo requests, let's get you some new customers, let's get those free trial signups, let's go.